Hey YouTubers, um, I'm back. I haven't been on for a while, but I am back. And I'm doing a pretty, pretty darn cool experiment here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using a peltier. What peltiers do is they pump heat from one side of the chip, which is this, to the other. And most people, you know, have, um, a heat sink. Um which you could clearly see this one does. And they have a fan on the other side, which allows it to blow the, dissipate the heat that it pulled from the other side, the cold side, into the air. But I took that a step further. I didn't use a fan. I used ice cold water and salt. That should get us down to like 15 degrees. Um, and that'll really allow it to rip the heat from the cold side. But this will melt quick because it's going to dissipate all its heat into there. Now I will take a thermal measurement of the water with my laser thermometer here. Yeah, 30 degrees, 31, 33, whatever. About 32. Um, basically the way this works is I have a laptop charger. Step up converter steps it to 20 volts, then steps it back. This steps it back down to 12 which feeds this thing perfectly. Um, so, without further ado, let's get this thing going. Um, hopefully we'll get into the negatives. Let's see how this thing works. Alright, it's on. Oh, wow. Wow, it's dropping rapidly. It's already negative. 18 degrees, holy crap. Oh my god. Negative 25. Oh my god. Cold. Oh, damn. Negative 27. Holy cow. I did not expect this thing to go that low. Just gonna get salt. Sometimes that even lowers it more. Oh my god. They give 35. I saw it for a second, yeah. They give 35 degrees already. That is frigid. That is extreme cold. That's near. That's like a super cooler right there. Oh, oh, it really burns your hand. It's so cold. Negative 30. Negative 37. Oh my god, I did not expect this to get anywhere near that. I thought I might get like like zero degrees, not negative 37, almost negative 40. This is extreme. Yeah, it seems like it's staying fairly stable. I could turn up the voltage to like 14 and see if it cools it down even more. Be right back. Alright, I turned it up, and wait till you see this. Wait, oh, I'm not even getting in the center. Nave 39. Negative 40. Oh my god, negative 40, holy cow. That is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit right there. Oh, I see the... Hang on. The heat sink is literally falling into the water here. I'll be right back. 
Okay. Yeah, I just noticed some ice forming on the outside, and that was because the heat sink was, I mean, the peltier was starting to fall into the water. Oh my god. Negative 44. Negative 45. That is extremely cold. Would it? Could it get up to negative 50? That would be extreme. Oh damn, it really hurts. Can't touch it for more than a few seconds. It's starting to feel like dry ice. Take you another reading. Wow, that is cold. Just turning up the voltage again, just a little bit. It's probably at about 15. I don't drive it over that. I will come back in about three minutes and see how well this thing gets, all right? So I'm going to see how well I can get this, and I'll be right back. All right. They have 43. What's happening is it's, I think the water is getting hotter, so it's not as cold, but negative 40 is pretty cold if you ask me. I'm going to transfer it to that bowl. I'll be right back. F44. A45. I'm going to stir up the water and this will cool it down even more. Oh yeah. Yeah, it seems like it's staying. Oh. So, yeah. 
it seems like it's staying around negative 45, well, negative 40 to negative 45. Yesterday, I had it up to negative 49. Negative 49.6 was the lowest temperature I got. Today, it, I got up to negative 46. I saw it say that for like a second before. Now, unfortunately, it's still pretty darn cold if you ask me, but it's not like negative 45 because what happens is this dumps a lot of heat in the water and all the ice is melting because this puts out a lot of heat due to all the heat it's extracting. Now, um, oh, that's freaking cold. Oh my god, your finger literally sticks to it as soon as you touch it. It's like, it's kind of like touching like dry ice, but I never touch dry ice, but I'm assuming that's what it's like. That is so cold. You can see it form like frost right on my finger as soon as I touch it. It's going down now because all the ice melted, but I put it in a big pot of water and lots of salt. And I somehow got it to almost negative 50. Um, so I'll have to make a video on that. In my next video, I'll probably stack two of them together. Oh yeah. So I'll probably stack two of them together. Um, which will increase the temperature difference even more. Um, so yeah. Um... This seemed to work out nicely. This water is getting warm. You can already feel it near the side. Right here, it's very warm. Um, if you take this out of the water, I'll show you guys what happens. It's going to go way up. Like in, in the positives, it's going to go. It's actually taking longer. Sorry about that. It's actually taking longer than I expected. Oh, there it goes. Negative 30 still. It's up there, though. Oh, now it's starting to go up. This is very warm now. So now it can't dissipate heat as effectively. The top of it will heat up. Which you can see it's already doing. It's only negative 20 now. It's still cold, but it's not like negative 50. Well, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it's pretty common sense, but I'll just tell you it gets up to like 40 degrees if you don't have this without a fan. 40 degrees positive. Um, so, just wanted to show you that this works well. Um, my next goal is getting this down to negative 60 or negative 70 degrees by stacking two of them together. Um, I don't know if that's possible. You guys make comments, but I have to say negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit or about negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit is a pretty impressive temperature for a home experiment with the Peltier. So I will see you guys later. I will make a video later on when I get that working and enjoy. Just wanted to show you what I'm working on. So take one last reading. Yeah, it's only at negative 10, so it's going up. And this is pretty darn hot. Ouch. Yeah. So I'm going to unplug it and have a good day. Goodbye.